KSTP TV, St. Paul, Minneapolis. Is it a big step from Wonder Woman to Private Eye? A big switch from Butler to Lieutenant Governor. From Sportscaster to Anchor Woman. How about from the morning news to 60 Minutes? Entertainment Tonight wraps up the work week for Friday, October 19th, 1984. I'm just uh, elated to be a part of it. I'm Rob Weller. And I'm Mary Hart. Actor John Eric Hexum, who shot himself in the head last Friday, is dead. Dick Shoemaker has the story in our news studio. Mary, apparently Hexum had no chance of survival from the very beginning. His doctor said when the co-star of the TV series Cover Up fired a 44 Magnum loaded with blanks into his right temple, the force of the explosion drove a piece of the skull deep into the brain. The police have listed it an accident. The official announcement of death came this morning. At 7.31 on October 18th, John Eric Hexum was declared dead. Mr. Hexum was transferred to a Northern California hospital at 1.15 this morning, where the, at his wish and the wish of his family, his heart, kidneys, and corneas were donated for transplant purposes. The actor had not been working in Hollywood very long. In fact, he was just beginning to make his mark. John Eric Hexum got his big break just two years ago in the NBC series Voyagers. The show didn't last long, but Hexum's career definitely was on the upswing. Next came the TV movie, The Making of a Male Model with Joan Collins. And Hexum fit the role perfectly. Your martini's getting warm, and I'm getting cold. The young actor capitalized on his image as a male sex symbol, but Hexum worked hard at his craft. He graduated from Michigan State University with a degree in philosophy. He played piano in New York, while looking for acting jobs, Hexum knew his looks were important. It gets you the opportunity to read for the job. And after that, you're, you're on your own. Where have all the good men gone and where... John Eric's next big break, co-starring with Jennifer O'Neill in the CBS series Cover Up. Hexum played an undercover agent, but the actor kept a sense of humor about his TV role. The uh, character I play is kind of a cross between Hawkeye on, on MASH, James Bond, Indiana Jones, and Superman. Little Mr. Magoo thrown in there. Movie audiences saw a different Hexum in the film The Bear, starring Gary Busey as football coach Bear Bryant. Well, I noticed your marks are pretty good. But... Well, I'm serious about being a doctor. Ever since I was a kid. Uh, you gonna go right to med school or... Uh... No time out for pros or... Uh -uh. right the med school. John Eric Hexum, his career was just starting to take off. He died at the age of 26. Memorial services for Hexum are yet to be announced. Rob. Thank you, Dick. Blues singer Alberta Hunter, a cabaret star in the 20s and 30s who revived her singing career in the 80s to wide acclaim, died in New York Wednesday at age 89. We'll have a tribute later in the show. Trial has begun in Boston in Vanessa Redgrave's $5 million damage suit against the city's symphony orchestra. The suit